Now all the tech is working. Yeah, shoulders away from the ears, breathing into these muscles. Stretching out not just the muscles in the neck, but the muscles along the front body, back body, and down the arms. Weight in the feet. Finish up this last rotation and then lift that head up through center. Good. Inhale, one arm up and overhead. Really reach to those fingers. Wow, that feels great after yesterday. Exhale, stack it up. Other side. Inhale, lift. Yes. Exhale, stack it up. Both sides. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, elbows out wide. Baby back bend. Wow. So for those of you who weren't here yesterday, we did these like slow push-ups and this feels great. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, bend over to one side. Good. Come up through center. Inhale, up and over. Other side. Good. Exhale, come up through center. Both arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, elbows out wide, open up that chest. Oh, it feels so good. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, let's dive it down. First roll down. Good. Inhale, roll all the way up. Arms up overhead. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, roll it up. Awesome. Okay. We're going to pause there. We're going to come straight down to the mat. For some reason you can't see me, please come off mute and let me know. We can come all the way down. Oh, and let's start with our quadruped position. So finding our nice, steady, stable position here. Knees underneath, your hips, wrists underneath, your shoulders, okay? We'll do a couple of cat-cows before we get started. So inhale, lifting your head and your tailbone up towards the air, up towards the sky, pulling through that chest. Exhale, draw your belly in as you come through neutral and then round that spine, pushing through those hands. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Two more. Good. Last one. And then we'll find neutral. All meeting in our neutral spine. Good. Inhale your left leg back, toes tap down. Okay, and then notice what happened to your torso. Did it want to open up to the side? If it did, round it down and just breathe here for a second. Finding your balance, equal pressure into both hands, inhaling through the side of back lungs, exhaling, tightening up that core. Remember, we found that last week, those transverse abs. This time, inhale that leg up to glute height and hold there. Exhale. Find your stability in not just your abs, but then also in the back extensor muscles. Holding this leg in midair, pointing through those toes, looking just in front of your hands. Keep breathing. Good. On your next inhale, extend your right arm long. So we've got our left leg and right arm. Arm is at shoulder height. Breathe here. I'm going to come check you out. Two more full breaths. We're finding our stability. We're finding our balance. Gorgeous. Draw that belly up and in. Inhale here. Exhale. Draw that elbow to knee together. And then inhale. Extend it long. Trying really hard not to move the torso too, too much. You can round it slightly as the knee and the elbow come together, but then finding that really beautiful long extended position. So here we are, really focusing on balancing as we extend and contract. Two more, 
Good. Nice and slow and controlled movements. Beautiful. Warming up this abs. Extend that arm and leg long. And then exhale. Draw them back down onto the mat. Yeah. Hey, abs. You guys look great. Go ahead and extend your right leg back. Let's first find our position. So top of the foot is down on the ground. Roll that hip down so that they're both facing the ground. Push through those shoulders. Inhale, exhale here. One more. And then on your next inhale, lift that leg up to glute height and hold there. Find your balance. Did your weight shift from one side to the other? Did you lose any contraction in the belly? If so, try to find it here. No arching in the spine. Remember, try to keep that neutral spine. And then on your next inhale, extend your left arm long in front of you. Arms should come up to shoulder height. Keep going. I'm going to come check you out on this side. This side may feel different than the other. Beautiful. Here we go. Nice, Lauren. Hold it there. Inhale. On your next exhale, draw that elbow to knee. Slow and controlled movements. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Three more. Good. And two. Last one. Extend that arm and leg long. And then draw them down. Woo, sit back on your heels and then roll out your wrists. Give them a break. All right, so we're like fully activated. Yeah, we're like abs are turned on. We're ready. Good. Just how we like it. You're gonna come onto your bum. Legs are gonna come long in front of you. You're gonna grab that yoga block or book. We're gonna do a different version of Quake and Abs this week. So we always have to do a little bit of Quake and Abs because it's so, so good. Books can be between your hands. Legs are gonna stay long on the ground, okay? Option to always bend those knees if this is uncomfortable for you. But we're standing up nice and tall. Shoulders are drawn back and down the back body. Abs are drawn in. We're gonna inhale, come back, roll down halfway, exhale left. Come back for two, roll up for two. Here we go. So it's like a half roll down. We've done a roll down before, right? This time we're just gonna make ourselves a little bit tired, here we go. Last one, stay back, and two, one, hold here, hold, static hold. Legs are relaxed. Shoulders are down, belly's drawn in. Hold here, keep breathing into the side and back lungs. Oh my God, almost there, four, Yep, press into that foot, three, or yoga block, two, one, we're gonna lift the right foot up. So lift and lower. Right leg lifts and lowers. Inhale, lift and lower. <laughs> Here we go. For four, three, Two, left side in one, lower down. Here we go. Shoulders are back and down. You guys got this. Four more. Three, four, leg down, arms up overhead and down. Lift that up, bring it down. If for some reason you're starting to feel strain in your back, just lift yourself up out of your roll down slightly, but keep that engagement in the abs, okay? So you can always reduce the angle of the roll back. 
Here we go. For four, legs are relaxed on the ground. Three, two, we're gonna twist to the left. One, arms in front, twist left, come back forward. What? Here we go. Four, five, six, two more than the other side, seven, shoulders back, eight, in front, over to the right. Yes, almost there. For four, three, two, last one, bring it forward, then roll it all the way down with control. Wow, take a big nice stretch, arms overhead, hang on to that yoga block, extend your legs long. Breathing into the side of the back lungs. Exhaling all that air out. Good. Bring your legs into a, a bent position so your feet are flat, your knees are bent. Extend your left leg long. Okay, we're gonna do a little balance challenge here. So with that yoga block or book, you're gonna to wanna to bend into that knee and place it on the bottom of your foot. Your foot is flexed. Always option to not use the book, that's okay. But we really want to think about trying to balance that, that block on that foot. Why? Just hold it up in the air for a second. Why are we doing this, Allie? Because we want to make sure our sits bones stay down, right? Arms are going to come up towards the ceiling, fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale as you bring that left leg into tabletop. Here we go. Just hinging from that left leg. Inhale, tap those toes down. Exhale, lift back into tabletop. So arms are still in the ceiling, right? We're holding them there. Right foot to the ceiling. We're slowly moving, hinging from the hip, tapping those left toes down on the mat, and then exhale, pulling them up. Here we go. Yes. What is happening? Draw your awareness to all the muscles in the belly. For four, three, Two, one, bring that leg up into tabletop, hold there. Hold that leg in the tabletop. Other leg is still extended. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, crunch up through the upper body, arms come by your hips. Inhale, release. And up, release. Here we go, keep going, I'm gonna check you out for four, and three, you got it, Tanya. Two, nice, Dina, here we go. Good, Bob, last one. Good, come out of that chest lift. Keep that leg in the tabletop. This time, and I go for my balance. Arms are up overhead. This time, exhale as you come up and then send that left leg long. So arms are long by your sides as we're gonna crunch your left leg is now extended long. Inhale, come out of that crunch. Left leg comes back to tabletop. Here we go. For four. Three. Two. One, come up into a chest lift, hold there. Bring that left leg out two inches to the side. Exhale, draw it back to center. Out two inches to the side, so your left leg is long, about 45 degree angle, you're in a chest lift, always option to come out of chest lift, and you rotate that left leg out to the side and back to the center. Keep going for three, two, awesome rush. And one, come out of chest lift, bend that leg, take both legs, take that book off, and take a pause. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Hello. <laughs> We're getting in it. We are getting in it. Let's do it. 
All right, what are we doing on one side? We must do on the other. So, let's get ready. Finding our position, putting that book on the other bottom of the left foot. Oh, one might be easier. One side might be easier to balance than the other. You know what's so interesting about this? This tells us how we also walk. So, does it feel like the weight of the book is on the inner side of the foot or the outer side of the foot or maybe balanced completely in the middle? If it's on one side than the other, you actually might be turning your foot, rotating your foot, pronating it in one way or the other, which could be impacting the way in which you walk and stand. Bring your right leg up into tabletop and hold here. Arms come up towards the ceiling. So just find our position here. Figure out how to adjust the foot so that your the book is weighted equally across the entire foot, front to back, side to side. Okay? And then just inhale, start to hinge from that right hip, tap those right toes down. Exhale, draw that leg back to tabletop. Good. This can be a very revealing move. <laughs> Particularly if the book feels more steady or less steady on one side than the other. Why does that matter? As we keep hinging, keep going, got three more. It matters because the way we walk impacts how we utilize the muscles, not just in the leg, but then also in the low back. So if anyone struggles with low back pain, sometimes it can be due to the way that you're walking, or vice versa. Sometimes if you're feeling, if a muscle is crunchy or tight, somewhere else in the body is going to impact the way you walk, which is going to cause other problems. Last one here. Good. Hold that leg up into tabletop. This time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, crunch up. Arms come down by your sides. Inhale, lower. So legs are static, and we move the upper body. Here we go. Make sure that leg and tabletop is in good alignment. So your knee should be in line with your hip, your foot should be in line with your knee. Check that out as you come up into your crunch. You got three more, I'm gonna check you out. Good. Lot two more, here we go. Yes, last one, beautiful. Good, this time, oh, here we go. As you crunch up, extend that right leg long at a 45 degree angle. Inhale as you come out of that crunch and bend that knee. Mm -hmm. Extend it long. If this is too much on your hip flexion, you can always choose to drop that book. You can always choose to put the one foot on the ground as we're mobilizing the other leg. No problem, you modify as needed. But we're crunching and extending that right leg. Two more. Last one, good, hold it here. Inhale, rotating that right leg out two inches. Exhale, draw it in. You always have the option of coming out of chest lift, although personally I think that's harder. <laughs> here we go, almost there. For three, tiny movements. You guys look awesome too. Last one, draw those knees in, take that book off. Extend your legs long, extend your arms long overhead. Take a breather. Tiny little movements and look at how much we've activated. We've learned so much about ourselves, right? Not just about our abs. Ah, uh, it feels good. Okay, you're gonna roll, what do I wanna do first? You're gonna roll over onto your belly. You're gonna put that book on one side. We're gonna do a little bit of an extension. So when your arms are long, move this out of the way. We might not actually get to the chair today. That's okay. When your arms are long in front of you, you want them to be directly in front of you and the book is gonna be out to like the right. It's gonna be off to the right, okay? So your arms are long in front of you, your legs are long behind you. You're gonna inhale, lift your right arm up off the ground, cut two inches, exhale, lower. So your forehead's down on the mat, all, everything, your legs, your arms are on the mat, and you're just gonna lift up that right arm, 
and then lower it down. Try not to open up on the torso, so we're not rotating the torso. We're just getting a little bit of an extension here in the shoulder girdle, increasing our range of motion. Good. Two more like this. Awesome, place that arm down. This time, inhale that arm up and sweep it up and around over that book, placing your arm down by the sides of the hips. And then lift it up and come back to starting position. So we're just gonna play with height here on the one side. Book is flat on the ground or yoga block. And we're just rotating that one arm back and forward. Feel, draw your awareness to the back body, the muscles in the shoulder girdle. Last one. And then bring that arm up. Good. This time, take that book or yoga block and put it on the second setting, the second height, which means that it's still like long ways, but the back of the book is pointing towards the air. And then find that starting position. Inhale now as you lift up a little bit higher through that shoulder girdle, arm comes down, and then bring it back. You notice how that actually forces us to extend the muscles, not just in the back body, but also a little bit in the chest, as we lift up and over that book, keeping everything else stable. I'm gonna check you out, give me three more. Good, here we go. Last one, awesome. Put that book on the highest height now, so that like the pages are on the ground and you can basically read the title. Same thing here. Inhale, lift up. Oh, that one's a little bit harder, right? And down by your sides. Exhale as you lift it back and around. Notice what's available to you and what might be a little bit more challenging. Hopefully there's no pain. If there's pain, do not continue. Put it on a lower height. But slight discomfort just means you are stretching and increasing your range of motion here. Yes. So it might feel like we're working the arm and the shoulder, but this has everything to do with our back extensor muscles as well. As we mobilize through the shoulder girdle. Last one. Good. Bring that up, put that arm down, and take a breather. Now, notice as we release that arm, what are you feeling along the right side of the body? It's like, what just happened? I wasn't expecting those sensations, right? Go ahead and move that book to the other side. I need to adjust my, there we go. So we're on the lowest height. We're staying down. It's over to the left. And you're gonna inhale, lift up and around with the left arm, and then back. Everything else is down, and we're just rotating through that left side. Here we go, lowest height. Keep going. For three. Yes. Two. Good. And last one here, you guys look great. When the arm comes back up, go ahead and put that book on the second height. Let's even out the sides. Beautiful. And let's do about five here on this second height. Inhaling in one direction, exhaling in the other. Noticing if you have greater or lesser range of motion on this side of the body. For me, it's always less on my left. It requires more effort. I have to draw my attention more to this side. Last one. Good, go ahead and put that book on the highest height. And then give me four like this. 
trying as hard as possible not to rotate in that torso. Keeping both sides of the chest down. Yes, here we go. Heads down on the mat. Last one. Bring it up and release it down. Take a breather. Notice how you're feeling on this side of the body. And then when you're ready, push up through the hands and sink your bum back onto those heels coming into a child pose. Take a few breaths here, breathing into that upper back now, expanding the muscles on your inhales, relaxing them on your exhales. On your next inhale, walk your fingers over to the left side, stretching out that right side body. And then go ahead and walk your fingertips over to the left on the right side, stretching out the left side body. Exhale all your hair, air out, walking your hands back through center. Inhale as you come up to quadruped position. Exhale as you lift your right hand up and then thread it underneath the left shoulder coming into a little bit of a thread the needle. Right ear comes down to the mat. Inhale coming up out of that twist, planting that hand down. Exhale as you lift up the left hand and thread it underneath the right shoulder, bringing the left ear down to the mat. Good. Inhale as you come up out of that. Push yourself back on your bum and swing your legs around. Let's come into our mermaid position. So one leg is across the front of the body. Opposite toes are behind. We're going to finish our stretch here. Arm out to the side. Other arm holds onto that shin. You're going to inhale as we reach oh, up and over. Exhale. Release. One more. Inhale up and over. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale up and over. Add that twist in the torso. Exhale, look down towards the shin or mat. Inhale, come out of rotation. Exhale, come out of that twist. Go ahead and cross the opposite foot across, opposite toes behind. Hold on to your shin, other arm comes out long. Inhale, up and over. Exhale. Release. One more. Up and over. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Last one. Up and over. Exhale. Rotate in that torso. Inhale. Come out of that twist. Exhale. Come down. Place both hands behind you now. You can either keep your legs like that or cross both legs in front of you. And then just lift your chest up to the sky. Stretching out the front side of that body. <sighs> Gently coming out of that extended position. Rolling your neck in one direction. Rolling your neck in the other direction. And we are all set. Thank you guys so much.